everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here inside of the Staff Lounge actually getting ready to do a little bit of extra building. And you know what? It's weird to call it the Staff Lounge because it's my house and it's just been so long since we have been down here in our little storage area. But we are here! We are here because we are getting ready to put all of our eggs away, Ash! We have so many eggs! So many eggs! I mean look at all of these. Pelican eggs, magpie eggs, just chicken eggs. Oh gosh, I have a potato. You could kind of think that that's an egg if you weren't looking careful enough. We have dodo eggs. Oh my gosh, we have um, the con uh, Confuciornis eggs for our awesome little flying birds. You know what? We haven't checked on those guys in a long time. We might check on those prehistoric birds that we have from the fossil and archaeology mod in a little bit. But today is kind of like an egg day because look at this, you guys. Look at this. So we have vulture eggs, pigeon eggs, a lyrebird egg, just one of them, kiwi eggs. Oh gosh, just a bazillion and a half eggs. I can't believe we can actually use them in <laughs> cooking now. I'm really glad we didn't actually make people all scrambled eggs yesterday. I think that would have crossed the line somewhere. But I need to put all these eggs away. And that made me realize if we go over to the Egg Research Center, which I hope you guys mostly know where that is by now. It's over where we are working on the big giant uh, river exhibit. That's why we're building the Tate and Tackle so that we can have Dr. Nami show up at the river exhibit, buy fish from him, and put the fish into the river exhibit. It's all a big circle. It's all pretty amazing. Yes, another cake down. But yeah, when I realized we were going over to the Egg Research Center today, I realized we need more incubation chests because we have these cool little framed chests that's framed with glowstone over in the Egg Research Center to use as little incubation chests so that we can make sure we take good care of all of the eggs that we have. And we kind of have all of the ones that we've currently got totally filled up. And we're going to be putting down nests for the birds today and talking about amazing bird nests because, oh my gosh, if you guys think a bird nest is just like a pile of twins, Eggs, you are like in for a surprise. There are birds that will lay their eggs inside of cactus. There are birds that will do the social weaver thing and they will build like a huge social nest in a tree. It's absolutely fantastic. There are birds who don't even bother with a nest. They just lay their egg like on the side of a cliff or on some rocks or on the sand or even between like two twigs in a tree, which is really a precarious place to lay eggs if you ask me. But yeah, there's lots and lots of different types of nests, so we might be talking a little about those today. But let's go ahead and actually make our incubation chest. So those are actually going to be framed chests, and it'll make sense why they're called incubation chests in just a bit. So you take these framed chests, and I'm going to need... Oh gosh, it's been a while since I've made these. Oh goodness, this is a new project. Let's go ahead and put more eggs away. If I can get any in there, there we go. Alright, that's all the eggs I can put away for now. Let's put all the eggs away in here for now. But yeah, so the framed, um, the framed chest and the framing bench are something that came with Bibliocraft. So I need a framing, let's see, there's the framing tools. Ben's helped me with these before, so I don't really have this built yet. So we need three pieces of iron and two planks, and that'll give us the framing saw. And then we need to make some framing sheets, which is just the saw and some sort of planks put together. So let's make sure I've got a little bit of room. Yep, I really need to eat these cakes. They're kind of in the way. And it's so nice to hear Pigman Fern just like chucking about downstairs. We might need to check on him too. It's been a while since we've checked on him. All right, let's grab some planks. So we can get this done. I really should probably have this built anyway because we'll be using more framed items. I actually used framing. There we go, framed saw. I actually used framing for um, making the, the cool lattice chairs that are over at the Wisteria Cafe. All right, so the framed chest needs a framed label and framing sheets. And to get framing sheets, we just take the saw and we kind of like saw away at some of the planks. Oh, this is so fun. I love crafting new things. All right, so we'll do that. And then we need a framed label and that's a bunch of boards. And so you have to take the framing sheets and make a bunch of these boards. So I hope that's enough. All right. So we're doing some carpentry today, and this is so cool. I love how our quest to constantly add new things to the zoo means that we learn new skills all of the time. Isn't that just like the best thing in the world? All right, so then, ta-da! This is how you would make a framed chest. I'm so excited. So there's that again, and then, oh, I need another one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's just make a whole bunch of the framing boards and the framing sheets and then we have the framed chest Well, let me actually go ahead and show you guys. I need the furniture paneler now furniture. There we go So furniture paneler. I oh I need to sacrifice a framing saw 
and some iron and some slabs and some oak wood planks. All right, so I'll have to make a new saw in just a second. And let's see, let's come to the left or the right. Oh gosh, I still have all of those things there. Ah, oh, I have such a mess. And this cake is kind of, oh, no, I'm gonna try to eat it. That's my goal is to try to eat all of the cakes and not just waste them to clean up our, our house. All right, we'll put all the dye away. I'm gonna put away the dirt and the sand because those are used to make the deco craft clay. Oh gosh, what a busy day. What a busy day. I still feel like I need to turn to you guys and be like, good morning, welcome to the zoo. We're working today. Because we are working today, my friends, and it's so fun to be able to share the work with you guys. It really is. To be like, hey guys, we're here again. It's kind of like, because we do it as a daily series, it's kind of like we show up for work every day, if that makes sense. <laughs> All right, so we're going to need five pieces. So you're showing up for work. And actually, I've been thinking, what would you guys like to do? in terms of taking care of the animals in the zoo. Because we need to do some of that ash. We should probably have at least one day a week where we go to one of the animals. Maybe we'll start voting, like on which animal we're gonna focus on, just to do some care, to set up the books on them. I like that idea. What do you guys think about that? Because it really is like you guys are coming in and you are being zookeepers here with me. So I think it'd be fun to set that up. All right, now we need to put the paneler down. So this is the oak furniture paneler. And I think I'm gonna actually move, where's my bat pick? Bat pick, bat pick, doing what a bat pick does. All right, let's take bat pick and move this. This is my gem polisher. I'll go ahead and just put it right here. And let's see, there, we'll just leave that there. And then we'll put the furniture paneler right here. Look at it, isn't it so cute? Okay, so then what you do is you take your framed item and there's a whole bunch of framed items. Oops, framed, there we go, framed. There's a whole bunch of framed items that come in the Bibliocraft mod. And what this lets you do is use almost any block that exists to be able to make that item into a shelf or a table or a bookshelf or a clock or, you know, the chest. And so what we do is we take the chest and you put it right there and then we come over and where, oh where, there we go. It'd be in shiny gems. <gasps> is this really all the glowstone I have left? You're kidding me. No, 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 it's downstairs. Oh geez, it would be in the nether supplies. I was like gonna freak out. I was like, no way, I have tons of glowstone. Pigment Fern, I was so alarmed for a second there, and you look awesome in your sweater. And actually, I have a new coat for you, Pigment Fern. As soon as winter is over, uh, we'll give you your new coat. And it won't be quite as festive, but it looks like a really nice lab coat, so I think you'll enjoy it. All right, and then, oh, I have to fix his zookeeper experience points. Ah, don't worry about that. But yeah, then he doesn't have anything. Yeah, the glow flowers we could get from him in exchange. And you can take the glow flowers. Come here, my little glow flowers. And you can actually dun, 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 turn them into glowstone dust. So there's those. So I've got a couple more pieces of glowstone dust right here. And then this is my little chest where I store my glowstone. So yeah, we're, we're good on glowstone. I, I was going to be stunned if we like were really that low on glowstone. So here's the glowstone we're going to use to make the incubation chest. So we have a safe little place to leave our eggs. So excited. All right, let's pop over here. And so now, doo -doo -doo, and you guys might be wondering why an incubator to put the eggs in, Siri? Where's my chisel? Um, there's my chisel. Well, that's because the bird eggs need to stay pretty warm at a constant temperature. The bird eggs, just because they're laid, and we're going to use the chisel to make the glowstone into a fancy glowstone lantern. Just because they, they are laid doesn't mean that they'll hatch. So a lot of people misunderstand, like, a bird will lay eggs, and they're like, yay, they're going to be bird babies. Only if those eggs are fertile, for one thing, because often female birds will lay eggs just to lay eggs. That's where we get chicken eggs that we eat from. That's the Hens just are programmed to lay eggs now through centuries of breeding and there's a little bit more of that cake and then the egg also has to be at the right temperature the right humidity and often has to be rotated just a little bit to allow just a teensy bit mind you to allow the developing embryo to grow up into a big beautiful bird and sometimes you actually need to have um like the, the egg hardly touched because sometimes if you jostle the egg it'll pop the little embryos like I forget what it's called, but it has its egg yolk sac up against the side of the egg wall. And if you jostle the egg too much when it's developing by picking it up or it rolls or gets like bounced somehow, then it can actually pop the egg yolk sac off of the side of the egg and then the embryo will stop developing. It'll just kind of die in shell. So yeah, eggs are really complicated. They may seem kind of like a better use of resources and a better way. Like think about why would something lay eggs? Why would something lay eggs, Ash? You would lay these beautiful, beautiful eggs because it's 
easier to have a whole bunch of them and guard them and put your resources into guarding them and maybe like just protecting the nest and keeping the eggs warm than it would be to be pregnant and have to be slow and fat and like have to carry your young internally. So there's different styles of having babies and eggs is one style. Having live birth is the other style. And let's see, actually like you, we have two mammals in the world. Platypus is one of them who lay eggs. And I don't know of any birds who would do anything of the sort of like live birth, but reptiles go both ways. They, some have live birth, some lay eggs. So yeah, there's our little egg speech for the day. Let's go ahead and I will now show you guys that's why we're making the incubation chamber so we can keep the eggs at the right temperature. Also because it's fun. All right, so we made this glowstone fancy lantern. We made our beautiful little, um, little framed chest and then we put the glowstone up here, frame chest right here and boom, ta-da! Ta-da! Isn't it beautiful? And so here's our little incubation chamber for the eggs. And I'm very excited about that. So let me go ahead and get it. I think I need, let's do this, there we go. There we go. So we've got our awesome little framed chest and it looks like a little glowstone piece. So that's how we're gonna say that that's our little incubator. So let's go ahead and make four more chests really quickly just so that we can, yay, oh my, I still have my framing saw. I thought I had to sacrifice it and I didn't, huzzah, huzzah for the saw. All right, so let's go ahead and make just a whole bunch of these frame sheets. And then we're gonna come over here, make a whole bunch of these pieces. And then we're gonna come over here and let's see, what was it again? Just like a circle like this? No, I think it was like this. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and that's like, there we go. Okay, and we need four of them, good. And then you put them here and then you do this like so, perfect. And there we go, four little framed chests, fantastic. Then we just plop them straight into, do, 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 straight into here and boom, two, three, four, and we have our little incubators. Look at that, I love it. I love that extra little touch. And now I made some more tools because I actually hadn't gotten around to making my own. I just always used bins. All right, so we'll leave this in like the tool bench area. Oh, I had a framing furniture panel here and I didn't even know it, ah, oh well. And we'll put these over here for the future. And then we'll go ahead and put the wood of many colors away. Though we do need to bring some sticks with us because we're gonna be making some nests for the birds as well. So I will grab these and we'll turn them into sticks, right Ash? We will turn them into sticks. And really it would be proper to have Holly with us because she is our egg dog for this little adventure, but we still haven't found Holly. I have a really good idea of where she is though. So don't you guys worry. All right, Ash, you can come with me because we're going on a little adventure out at night. We're gonna go and we are gonna put these eggs away in the egg research center and maybe try to hatch the liar bird egg. That would be pretty exciting. And I also need to put away this iron really quickly. All right, there you go, iron. Anything else? Um, I should probably leave the squid ink here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And let's head out. All right, come on, Ash. Come on, boy. We're gonna go the long way a little bit. Hopefully nothing will show up and try to eat us as we're working our way over to the egg research center. Sunflower is up in the yard, just remembered that. Ash, are you okay? <laughs> He's not the most dainty wolf, I will admit that. Not the most dainty dog. All right, and here's our beautiful trees. Oh, I need to add more trees in this week, I'm so excited. I've been going through the old fan mail we had where people sent in a dollar to get a tree and I have so many I need to add. And Panda, for crying out loud, you scare me every time you do that. All right, let's come on down here. There we go. And we've got some cake, constantly pecking away at all of the cake that's absolutely everywhere. I need to tidy the area up a little bit. Oh, hi, Birdos. Bendy, Scarlet, Irwin. Oh my gosh. Ash, it's so cool. So our interactive bird tree is still doing great. I love these kinds of details too. Hello and welcome to Zudesia. Care to meet some of our bird ambassadors? Thank you so much, Riona. It's good to see that you are on top of things when it comes to working with the animals. Good, good, good. All right, and our little statues are still looking good. Awesome. Oh, look at this, I love it. I forget how cool it is down here. I kind of want to do, just for a second, I need to grab, where on earth are my shears? <laughs> where, I was like, where'd my shears go? I always have my pair of botanist shears at the ready. There we go. Let's go ahead and just prune this back a little bit. I like to take the flowering vines and give them as gifts to people because it's really fun. And our beautiful, gentle flowering oak tree planted by Haley. Oh, hey, oh, Alex. Hey, oh, Alex. Say hello to everyone. There we go. Like, Alex, Alex could probably use some more gifts of beautiful, beautiful uh, flowering vines. Everyone could. And then we've got our beautiful cherry tree by Tasman. 
I love it. Absolutely love it. It's so fun to visit the trees. All right, and then we'll get back to work. Just a second, just wanna gather up all these cherries because they're so yummy, Ash. What could we do with all the cherries? So many things, we could make cherry fondue. Ooh, the banana split, the banana split looks really good. All right, let's keep moving. On to the egg research center. Do to do, do to do. Do 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 mushroom! Oh Josh, I forget how many trees we have now. The peaceful rest tree planted by Aaron. Gosh, it's just so much fun to like stumble on them as as we keep walking. All right, then we're gonna keep going this way. Do 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 do. do. Almost there. All right, and the hummingbirds are are noisy again. Yep, there they are. <laughs> the hummingbirds are noisy again, so I need to fix that. But they're they're lovely as always. Oh gosh, look how many. Oh, do I have any sugar? Not at the moment. Oh, they're just so pretty. All right, and we're gonna wiggle our way over here. Ash is coming along like a good dog. <sighs> I still need to fill this thing with fish. This is gonna be so fun once we fill it with fish and we get some posters down. Oh, Fluffy Mittens, you're still hanging out in here, huh? Oh, that's hilarious. I love how Fluffy Mittens just kind of shows up in unexpected places. Also, you guys, this is an area where I kind of want to put in maybe like a bit of a dining hall or a cafe that's sort of like stone themed. So I'm really looking forward to using that framed paneling for making uh, tables and chairs, or maybe we could even make divincing tables and chairs. Oh, that would be so cool. The way that like Pavo made the picnic tables out of divincing, that would be awesome. So that they would kind of look like the stalactites um, or stalagmites, I should say, because the stalactites would be from the ceiling. It'd be silly to have like a, a chair set come from the ceiling. That would be kind of weird. Or we could make them look kind of like gemstones. Ooh, maybe a like merging of the two types. That would be so fun. But yeah, I want to do that over here as well in the future. But I definitely want to put in some fish ASAP and then get the posters up on the walls and get um, like books that you can open that will teach you a lot about the fish too. So, and then we have the Egg Research Center, one of my favorite places places ever oh my gosh oh my gosh I don't understand how this happened okay okay oh my oh me oh my okay um Cracker Jack had some babies <laughs> Cracker Jack does indeed appear to have had some babies, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I going to do with all these magpies? I guess we could have a magpie exhibit. I don't know, like, the social groups that magpies live in, so I guess I'm going to have to learn about that. They're going to have to wait here until we finish the Tate and Tackle, though. But, oh my goodness, this is a little unexpected and really awesome. Because we were going to build the Cracker Jack shack for Cracker Jack, who is in here somewhere. Cracker Jack, is that you? Did you clone yourself, or is that just, like... You just had, you had like a whole flock of children, Cracker Jack. So here's Cracker Jack proper. And here's 800 million children that Cracker Jack had. Oh my goodness, Cracker Jack. What am I going to do with all the babies? I guess we'll open up the Cracker Jack shack. And it's meant to sell just like some of the random stuff that we collect and gather. So there's that. And we have a whole bunch of pigeons. Um, no pigeons, stay in here. Stay in, no pigeons. Escaping, oh, I have escaping pigeons. Quick, close the door. Ash, close the door. Oh, phew. Stay there, Ash. Oh, gosh. I have escaping magpies. <laughs> Ash, you don't want to be involved in this. It's a little chaotic right now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. And there's, like, there's blaze powder to be collected over here. An ember passed away because they suffocated somehow. I think they may have gotten stuck, like, under a leaf or under the nest. So we'll have to keep an eye out. It doesn't happen too often, but often enough, I need to really watch my blazing chickens. There's not as many left as I would want there to be. Oh my goodness, Ash. Here, sit down for a second. You and the blaze chickens would probably get along. My little fire starter, you. Um, goodness. Well, all right, go back in. I need you, you you're going to go back in, okay? No, 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 no. That's the wrong direction. All right, let me put these birds away. Oh my gosh, how did I get another pigeon escapee? All right, you go there. Oh, no, hey, where are you going? All right, you go there too. Oh gosh, what am I going to do with the pigeons? Should I just let them like free fly somewhere oh my goodness come here pigeon all right i got it cut it right out of midair not bad all right let's put you away come on down you go pigeon all right there's that here's a magpie oh gosh cracker jack why so many babies cracker jack and why aren't you just laying your eggs in the nest who knows who knows okay well that's a little unexpected 
I wonder if somebody like hatched a bunch of eggs in here. That might be true. Someone might have just come visit and like hatched the eggs in here as a surprise. That would make a little bit more sense. All right. Well, let's go ahead. We're going to put down our framed chest for now. Perfect little space for them right over here. And then we're going to go ahead and let me double check how I set this up. Ah, oh, that's how I set this up. So what I did before is I got a whole bunch of like oak leaves and things and just spread them out on the bottom of the chest like so. So it'll kind of mimic being a nest. And so we'll go ahead and put the magpie and the pigeon eggs away. I don't know how magpies and pigeons make their nest yet, but we are definitely going to learn about that. And then we'll go ahead and put these here. Oh, it has to be, that's right. It has to outnumber everything else in the chest in order. Ah, that's why I had to have the leaves down. That's right. Okay. I remember now. But it cut because the leaves have to outnumber everything else in the chest so that this little icon will pop down on the bibliocraft chest. So that's pretty fun. All right. I have no idea how I have so many birds. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do with all of them. All right. Well, for now, let's just go ahead and start sorting like all of the all of the eggs we have into the incubation chambers. So um, I do want to come back and put in the... I definitely want to come back and be able to put in some leaves so that we can try to make this a little bit of a softer nest. But at the same time, these are overflow eggs. So I don't know if we'll be able to take as many liberties with being dainty. Well, nope. You know what? We already took some liberties making it look dainty like this. So we'll be careful with the eggs. All right. There's all of our peafowl eggs. Nope. Here's all of our peafowl eggs. Oh my gosh, I really just need to trade some of these to the NPC that we have who takes care of the peafowl eggs because this is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, we have we have a zookeeper over in the peafowl gardens who will trade you for peafowl eggs. All right, these two won't stack. That's fine. And we'll grab these. We have some blaze powder now. Why do I only have four? How many chickens do I have left? I should have more chickens. Um, I have one, two... Three. Why do I only have four chickens? That worries me. Well, we need some blaze rod stat because if I lose my blazing chickens, I will be very sad. All right, let's put the blaze powder away. Oh gosh. Well, I guess I could technically just throw all of them in here until I have more stuff for them. Oh my gosh, what's that per pink one? A flamingo egg? When did I pick up a flamingo egg? What? And I have a swan egg up here. Oh, we need to try hatching this over at the Swan Lake. Oh, goodness. So we're d basically drowning in eggs, you guys. We're drowning in eggs, and I don't know if today is really the day we're going to spend a lot of time trying to tidy up and fix the eggs. But I really want to hatch the li Lyrebird egg, potentially. So we might need to go ahead and make a new enclosure here in the Egg Research Center. But we're so close to finishing up with Tate and Tackle that I think we'll work on the Tate and Tackle first, maybe? Because I don't know what to do about Cracker Jack and all of the Cracker Jack babies. <laughs> this is a little unexpected, to say the least. I wonder why they're not laying their eggs in the nest. We'll have to see. The swan lays her eggs in the nest. All right, so I think what we're going to do now, Ash, is I'm going to wait to do the liar bird. Um, and I'm going to... Uh, do I want to do that? You know what? No. I'm pretty sure the liar bird and the blue bird will get along. That's the one thing I wanted to try doing today is getting the liar bird okay and getting the liar bird hatch that's gonna be our one thing it and the bluebird i'm pretty sure we'll get along okay maybe it'll learn to sing beautiful bluebird songs and what you do is you take the blaze powder and you gently coat it on the egg and that will help the egg increase its chance of spawning right now we only have a 10 percent chance of spawning and now we have 30 and now we have 50 and it only goes up to 50. So now we have a one in two chance that we are going to end up with a beautiful little liar bird. All right, and Ben's lost, which is kind of hilarious. All right, we're gonna close this and this will be the last thing we do for the day. Then we're going to escape this cooing, clacking, noisy egg research center just for now. And we're gonna go back over and try to finish up the Titan Tackle because we are so close, so close. All right, you guys ready? You guys ready? Wink. <gasps> we got a liar bird! We got a little liar bird baby! Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, look, and the blue bird is totally ready to like play at being mama for it. So that's wonderful. All right, so at least that much is done for the day. Holy moly, we've got quite the adventure going on here. 
quite the adventure going on in here. I don't know what's going on. I might release some of the magpie because we don't need this many of them. And I will see you guys next time when we will head over back to the Tate and Tackle. We're going to just try to give our swan a better nest site and hatch some of her swan eggs. Oh my gosh, the lyrebird's already making cow noises. That's the most adorable thing ever. And then we are going to finish up the Tate and Tackle so we can get the fish done. So we can get on with so many of our other things. And if there's this particular exhibit that you guys know of that we have that you kind of want to go to and take care of like a zookeeper you guys just let me know and we will work on it we will work on it all right ash a little bit flustered because so many birds oh and it's making the little clipper noises now ah it's the most precious baby ever i'm so excited all right guys i'll see you next time Bye bye